Nearly 200 acres burned in Milton. It's been a week since a prescribed burn grew out of control near Garson Point, getting dangerously close to homes in that area. As WKRG News 5's Daniel Smithson reports, an email shows one homeowners association plans to sue the agency that approved the burn. In this email, the Sea Pines Neighborhood Homeowners Association says it plans to file damage claims with the Florida Forest Service's insurance company. The Forest Service approved that controlled burn last week, despite windy and dry conditions. This neighborhood is located off Dickerson City Road in Milton. The controlled burn started by the Northwest Florida Water Management District quickly got out of control and burned several wooded lots in the Sea Pines neighborhood. It also damaged the front gate and a community boardwalk. The Florida Department of Agriculture, which oversees the Florida Forest Service, says they're actively investigating the fire and hope to put out a report soon. The Ag Department has said the fire should not have happened and said the burners should have adjusted their plans if weather conditions changed. I talked to a homeowner in the area who says she's looking for answers as to why the prescribed burn was approved and says she thinks the Forest Service should pay for the damage. I think they really need to look into the, the standards that they have in place when they decide to allow somebody to burn. I think that there was damage caused that certainly isn't our fault. Um, they started the fire. They caused damage to our um, land that the Homeowners Association owns, which is, you know, all of us contribute to, um, and, and damage a lot of our property. They caused the fire, so they should pay for it. In the email, the HOA here says it's compiling a list of damages and plans to submit a claim soon. In Milton, Daniel Smithson, WKRG News 5.